Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chimron, and today we're going to try to figure out what in the world is Anthem. Oh, Anthem. What is Anthem exactly? Well, in this, in this part of the gameplay, it's first person, but the actual game is third person, and it is yet another multiplayer online RPG looter shooter. The market is quite quite big on those, meaning that there's way too many of them. You got Division 2, Division 1, you have Destiny, which just became free to play, and in my opinion was an excellent move, and probably the way this game should go through as well, but you also have uh, Did we mention Division 2 already? Division 2. We have Borderlands. Breakpoint is another one that just came out that can be considered one of these games because, let's face it, that's also heavily monetized. Uh, you can you can kind of expand and go, go more genres. I mean, you have Path of Exile, you have Warframe. Warframe is massive. But anyway, <clears throat> a lot of competition for this game. So... Why should you buy this? Well, you probably shouldn't, but we'll get to that in a second. Why? Let's take a look at the options menu. You have everything that I could possibly ask for. You have a few gameplay changes you can make. I mean, you can change the, the, the bobbing of the head, which I find incredible. But a lot of attention was uh, was given into this game in, in some aspects, not all of them. But as far as controls go, you can pretty much rebind anything on the keyboard. Godsend. You can change the sensitivity and everything, which is amazing. You can actually tinker with a lot of the sensitivity on your mouse, which is pretty good. You have a lot of audio options, which is great. And now let's get to the nitty gritty of the situation. You have some display options. Pretty standard, borderless, full screen resolution, blah, blah, blah. We've seen this before. This, motion blur, depth of field, chromatic aberration. These three settings must be in every single game. You must be given the option to change these settings in every single game. There's no excuse in the world. I don't care what your budget was. I believe these settings are necessary, they're important, they're a must-have in any game whatsoever. This shouldn't really be an option because this should not be used at all, but that's besides the point. Camera shake, which is nice. Let's go on the advanced. You have a preset, which is good, but let's face it, everyone is going to tinker to their own personal preference. I always turn anti-aliasing off. It's one of the things that I don't really like. It, it, it tanks performance way too much in most games. Even though I'm running a 2070, I feel like it's already getting outdated. You have AM reclusion, texture quality, texture filtering, mesh quality, lighting quality, effects quality, post-processing quality, which is kind of a group thing. This should be separated to whatever its, it's setting is terrain quality and vegetation quality. You're going to notice a few of the settings are not on the highest, uh, like the ambient occlusion and texture quality. I found that these settings kind of work the best when it comes to having a, a decent frame rate. Field of view. I don't agree with the percentage. What is this? How many, how many degrees is 73%? Is it 73? Is it 80? Is it 60? I'm not sure. This kind of works for me, 73%. Um, wow. Okay. That's an odd number to jump to from 67, 73, 80, 87. It goes by increments in 7. I forgot about that. I'm going to try 80, just in case. Zoomed FOV. You have a lot of field of views that you can tinker with, and I, I think that's amazing. That is, that is good. This gets my praises. Might as well increase these. Why not? I love FOV. Then you have a few more things like interface. Certainly nice to have. 
I'm not going to complain about that. So this is the main hub area. You can go outside. There's going to be kind of a loading screen. I'm not going to do that. There's no reason to, but this is the map. You can go talk to people. This icon right here is your mission, and that's how you go into missions. You can go into the forge, which allows you to change your javelin. And I'll explain what a javelin is pretty soon. You can, let's see, this is just the appearance. You can also change the loadout. I just did this, and it gives you the option to salvage what you don't use so you can craft more things which is great this is one of my abilities you can have multiple abilities which is great you can change your weapons in here most of the weapons are just generic like machine gun, sniper rifle and all that nonsense which eh, not very really inspiring uh, you got a few more options here like the featured you can go and spend some money or some in-game currency. I never bother with these. Uh, EA, I know EA wants these to be a steady flow of income, but not gonna happen in this household. You can join guilds, and you can have friends. Uh, leaderboard, uh, back into the settings. So, let's talk to this guy, and accept a mission. Check out the voice acting. People want to believe freelancers have their backs. After free mark, belief hard to come by. Glad I could help. How's freelancer Rife doing? Good. She put up a hell of a fight. Of course. She knows I would be angry to write her story for the wall. But, my young friend, she is alive. This is a good story to tell. People will hear of it. Think that'll help around here? Oh, yes. Now, Rife is recovering at the bar if you want to check out. You can press escape to skip all this, which <laughs> I I have been doing because this story does not have what it takes to keep me interested, which is a shame. Let's see. Let's hop into the mission. Oh, so soon? Good. I have contracts for you. To change minds around here, we need to get out there and do good work. Okay. I hear you. Right, let's skip this. Cool. And let's hold R, and uh, this is the mission right here, protection duty. It is kind of confusing. It's pretty confusing, honestly. So this is the mission, and we can select it. God, it's just so frustrating. And... We can either do uh, a private match or a public expedition. We can try the public expedition. I have no faith that I'm going to be matched with someone. I have actually never been matched with someone on any of these missions that I, that I make. But let's see what we got here. Now, while we wait for this to load... You are a freelancer, and you enter a javelin, as you can see. A javelin is pretty much a suit of armor. It is an exoskeleton suit. It gives you a bunch of abilities. You can fly, you can hover, you can shoot lightning strikes out of nowhere. You can throw grenades, uh, typical shield and everything. Loading times are immense when it comes to matchmaking because it just doesn't find anyone. A little bit of housekeeping. This is a game developed by Bioware and published by EA. It got mixed reviews when it was released back in February 2019, uh, February 22nd. It had about 54 on Metacritic for PC, 52 for PS4. I believe it was 65 for Xbox One. Don't ask me why. I don't know why the Xbox was higher. But it's been about two, uh, 10 months since the game was released. And absolutely no content has been added to the game. There has been massive backlash regarding this, uh, this abandonment that gamers have had from uh, Bioware about this game. And 
I don't understand why. It, it sold. It sold very well. It had about a hundred million dollars of uh, revenue, gross income, not revenue, in the first week of sales. About three point five of that was in microtransactions, and I believe it was the EACO that said that it was uh, not the goal. Uh, if I recall correctly, their goal of units sold was six and a half million dollars or six point three million dollars, and it definitely didn't hit that. But it was nonetheless pretty much the the highest downloaded game for the PlayStation Four. It it really did sell a lot of numbers. A hundred million dollars in in gross in revenue is is definitely admirable. It's not too shabby, in all honesty. Ooh. Let's turn it down a bit. Now, the environment looks great. Shadows, not that much. But, this is... I have equipped a sniper here. And this is my automatic rifle. So, you have abilities Q, E, and V to activate the abilities. V is a melee as well. You can actually change the melee two different ones which I find awesome you can hover around the battlefield give you a little bit better view and activate your abilities a little bit more accurately when you are in water your suit will cool down and it's important to have your suit cool down because it actually overheats so as you can see there's no bar right now but if I go higher a bar's gonna appear where uh, it'll start to fill up and once it fills up you can no longer fly if you go down and not stress your suit it'll also cool, cool down but mainly water is the way to cool it down now getting to the uh, gameplay it's it's fluid I like how the gameplay plays but it's boring it is the same formula for most of the missions again and again go do something go save someone go pick something up defend this objective insert generic objective here fight off a few waves of enemies travel do the same thing travel a bit do the same thing again and gain your XP if you're not amazed by that I do not blame you I don't think anyone is in all honesty with this game. But that is that is essentially all you do. Now you may think this game looks graphically amazing, it's big. This is the map. It may seem big, but it really isn't. And the reason why uh, it's a cool tracking feature here to show you where you came from. I say it is not big because if you recall when the game was shown back in E3 the the, the people would started flying and then they jumped down into this massive huge area and it was massive and then some comparison videos showed up that compares the beginning of the final release and the beginning of the E3 demo and it was nowhere near the scale that the, 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 the final product was and that caused somewhat of a of an outrage. That being said, the game still looks incredible, in my opinion. You uh, you have these massive jungle type environments. You can literally go anywhere you want by flying. Oh, there's some combat. Let's see what the combat looks like. I just upgraded to this weapon, and it does massive damage. And that's the combat right there. That's where the enemy spawned from. They pose pretty much no threat for most for the most part. There's one of my abilities. That's one of the new abilities that I just equipped. Which is nice. Let's throw some rockets down. You might have noticed that I was able to hover for a long time. Hovering doesn't really overheat your suit as much as flying does. Flying overheats it significantly faster, but all you have to do is pretty much hover over some water, 
but it kind of bugged out now it's not cooling down that's fun and as you saw I went somewhere killed a bunch of enemies and now I have to go somewhere else that is pretty much the game and I can see why people are enraged at the fact that they're not releasing any massive content this game desperately needs something to do whether that be with friends, whether that be by yourself, it needs something to do. Let's fight these guys. Oh, that was so difficult. One thing I appreciate about the game is the fluidity. The maneuverability you have to pretty much go wherever you want, do whatever you want. I definitely appreciate that. It is very satisfying when you're in trouble and you have to run away. Albeit, you are rarely in trouble in this game. You don't often have to run away, but it's quick and easy to run away if you have to. The weapon I'm using, as you can see, the more you fire, the more accurate it gets. I find that kind of weaponry interesting to use. Where are you? I'm hovering, your grenade is not going to do anything. This particular suit I'm, I'm wearing, it lets me hover. And while I'm hovering, I take uh, reduced damage and my shield is a little bit more potent. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Who is shooting at me? When will you learn that your actions have consequences? Good. They won't be causing any more trouble. Ah, yes. Good job. Uh, Back to the lack of content. There was some content planned for the game, and uh, it never came to fruition. It was cancelled. It was delayed and delayed and eventually cancelled and part of the reason why I wanted to make this video this late after release is because it was announced that Bioware is planning some sort of overhaul for the game. Not a content update, not a patch. We don't know what exactly, in all honesty. They just, uh, we just, all we know is that there's going to be a, an overhaul. And I kind of want to see what the game has to offer right now versus what the game will be able to offer to you after the overhaul takes place. So I figured that would be somewhat of an interesting thing to do and kind of check this game out again and once the overhaul takes place. Now, we have no idea if this will be a series of releases and patches, if it will be a one patch, if it will be paid. It will be free. We honestly don't know. And what I would like to see is that it is at least free for the people that have bought the game and already own the game, if not for everyone. I would think that it would be entirely disrespectful if Bioware wants us to pay for this overhaul when they've already cancelled all of the updates that they wanted to make to the game and all the content they wanted to add. It, add. I really hope that they do not make us pay for the game. For the overhaul, sorry. So, same old, same old. Now, I'll, I'll admit that the ultimate ability that this, uh, this suit has is pretty nice. Disappeared. Let's try the ultimate, just for goodness. You fire a series of three different elemental attacks and they do massive damage. And I completely missed the boss. Uh, that is open. That was... The game is easy, as you can see. I just pretty much killed everyone by hovering over the map. I used a couple of abilities and that was it. Everyone was dead. And the cooldown on my abilities is significantly slow. 
I mean, just give so you can be fast, not slow. My abilities cool down very quickly, and that's not an upgrade. That is the default, and that was the mission. This was a waste of time. Nothing significant happened. I kind of guessed what the mission was going to be before it even started, which which completely validates the, the point of this game is lacking a lot in content. One of the criticisms I have about the, con the, the game is that you can only hold two weapons at a time, and I, I arguably that can be due to the limitations that consoles impose. You cannot have a 10 weapon loadout on a controller, which is reasonable, but it is a limitation. I remember playing Max Payne 1 and 2 on the PC years ago, and you had a full 10 weapon loadout that you could switch to, and you also have a perfectly functioning scroll wheel on my mouse that I can just breeze through all the weapons. I really wish that this game had the ability to give us a few more, a few more weapons. But that's most games now, unfortunately. Two gain two weapons. At least we're not limited to a pistol for the second weapon, which would have been kind of frustrating. The the division two gives you two main weapons and one pistol. I think that's a nice thing. It's nowhere near what I would want to, but it is it is nicer than just two weapons. And I just leveled up. I forgot to do a melee. I'm going to do one on the next mission because the melee is really satisfying. Here you can be you're given the option of either keeping or salvaging the weapons that you that you find and the abilities. I'm just going to keep everything because you cannot compare them to what you have equipped. We're going to go back to the fort because that's the only way we can get a new mission is by talking to someone. Which means we have to sit through a loading screen. If you install this game on a solid state, you're not going to have to worry about it. But I have this on my on my hard drive. So it's going to take a little bit longer. But console players don't have the option really to install it on a solid state. Let's see. In the map... Where do we have to go? We have to go here. Which is kind of annoying because we cannot fast travel there, so we actually have to walk. The game is drop dead gorgeous. I love how the game looks like. The animations are nice. It's not live-like per se. It's populated. But it's, it's kind of bland. Everyone just sits around. They don't do anything crazy. It gives you the impression that it's live-like, but uh, that can be debated. Texture quality is it's not too bad. It's okay. It's great when you look at it from a distance, of course. When you look at it up close, it can be hit or miss. Like, this is really high res. This is... What is this? Minecraft. I don't know. But overall, the, the, the graphical quality is, is not bad. Absolutely not bad. All right, guy, give me a mission. Ah, my friend, always good to see you. Always good to see you too, my friend. It's hard to believe that this game, besides uh, $100 million of revenue on the opening week. Space. We're going to accept this. Let's start the expedition. What is that here? Oh. You can walk to your suit and start the mission, or you can hold our... We're going to walk there just to see what that looks like. Now, this game is going to be on sale for like 5 bucks or 10 bucks. Should you buy it? Why not? It's ten dollars. It is a decent B game, a decently nice game for ten dollars. Sixty dollars, absolutely not. 
and uh, I'm only level 5. I've had this game since it launched, but it never kept my attention, never gave me a reason to come back. Especially now that this, uh, this, this delay or abandonment of content uh, is taking place. It's definitely not giving people the reason to come back. And EA wanted to get a, a steady increase of revenue through microtransactions. But when no one is playing the game, they're not going to get any income. But you have to keep people coming back. You have to give them a reason to spend all this money on your microtransactions. You have to give them content. And without giving them content, no one is going to play your game. So this quote-unquote games for live services that is uh, starting to overtake the gaming culture now, that's why this is a bad idea. Because you spend all this time creating a game or changing a game to that model from a franchise that has been loved by many people. And when they don't play it, it just kind of ruins all the plans. And then EA comes out and says multiplayer games are the way to go. Single player games are dead. Uh, it's a slippery slope. I think good games are dead. Not that single player games are dead or multiplayer games are the way to go. Clearly this was a flop. This game may have sold half decently, but I can see why the criticism was so big. I'm still looking for a matchmaking, and I'm not going to be matched with anyone. I know this. And it's a shame. There is potential with this game, and I'm very curious to see what the overhaul would be. I have no idea what I would even like to see from this game. What could they possibly overhaul to make this better? Besides a repetition of a somewhat fun, fluid combat, it's way too repetitive. Not that many enemy types. Uh, the, the scenery is, you know, nice. It's pretty. It's sizable. It's not fast, but it is sizable. Wow, this does not feel good. Uh, I kind of would like to see what they do with this overhaul. I'm really hoping they release it fairly quickly, because it's already been 10 months since the game has released. And I cannot see why people keep playing this. The only thing you can do is pretty much a stronghold. You can take on a dungeon type. Get kind of annihilated over here. All I need to do is uh, hover and shoot these guys down. It is so easy. There's absolutely no challenge. So yeah, you can do the the dungeons. Uh, wave after wave after wave and finally you fight a, a boss for a chance of loot. I remember there was a stream they were doing a dungeon you were technically supposed to have a guaranteed legendary item drop and the streamers were developers and they actually never got their legendary and there was this it's kind of an awkward silence of what is happening right now Everyone on the stream was uh, not very happy about that, but that's the kind of quality control you get with this game, so that being said, this was Anthem. What you saw is what you get. If you find it for five dollars, why not? I uh, want to see what this overhaul is, and... Wow, that water does not look like water from up here. What is this texture? Holy crap. This looks good. That looks awful. That just looks disgusting. Ladies and gentlemen, this was Anthem. 
currently on sale for God knows who long, how much. It could be a dollar, it could be 60. I think it's like $10 right now. So, there you have it. I'll see you next time.